plastic bags would be like sweating on my arms. Be, <laughs> oh my god, I'd be so miserable. But I, but I had that thing in my head by then. I had that mm -hmm. in my head. Like if I'm not picking up his dry cleaning, he can't write the script. He can't. Yeah. And he's going. You know what I mean? Yeah. If he's going to do that. He can't write the script. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So that and many other valuable lessons I've learned on Showtime. But what happened to me was I already had my love of music. Mm -hmm but I didn't know much about the business of music. Mm -hmm. And so once I started moving up the ladder to talent producer, um, talent booker, mm -hmm. and then producer, mm -hmm. the more I moved up, the more I learned the business of music. Mm -hmm. Because we were a show that every label wanted their artists on. Of course. You know, yes, they were like, right. they yes. were like buying showtime to get their artists on Showtime. Yes. That was ridiculous. It, yes. Yeah. And so I was learning like all the like, inner workings of the marketing and promotions departments at the mm -hmm. label okay. because I was having to deal with those people as they were booking their ads for the show okay. and like learning what part of those artist campaigns we were playing and what like the bigger cam Pictures. overall campaign yeah. was. Um, all of that made me fall in love with the business of okay. it. Okay. So then so those things combined, like I knew I wanted to be in it. And I went uh, I went to a party one night and it was a party that um, what is did what is his name now love yes yeah, yes, yeah, love. yeah, yes, yes. Uh, um, it was a party that he was doing and when you were leaving the party mm -hmm. they gave you this um white sandwich bag mm -hmm. like from mcdonald's mm -hmm. and then when you open the bag it's like a um uh the c case for a hamburger mm -hmm. oh the big mac and box. It's a, the big mac box yeah, yeah. yeah um and so and then it had the bun and then it had the thing in the middle and it's like and so I was like, big, big, big and we had so already when, had them on the show. So that moment in the movie, you were there that night. I was there. That's, that's crazy. I was there. <laughs> and, that's crazy. And so I'm literally, I'm not kidding you, I am standing outside on the street, and you know, in, first instant thought was like, ooh, like what a horrible, like walk away gift, all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you, bit the, you bit the tape? And, and then, no, no, no. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> like, this is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to do this mm. I want to be a part of like the group of people that thinks to put a freaking um, CD or a tick inside of a bun mm -hmm. and because Biggie and Craig Mack are on the same okay. label and call it a big like I wanted to, to be a part of that kind of thinking yes. mm -hmm. so that was really that it was it for me. Like I had the bug. Mm -hmm. I, I knew. Like I wanted to be part of every bit of it. Making the music, marketing the music, mm -hmm. all of it. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. That all is powerful. It. Yeah. And then so I got to do that with Black Street. So the first group or, or app that I worked with was Black Street. And so when I went to work with them, they were working on another level mm -hmm. on the album with No Diggity on it. Yes, yes, yes. And um, how big was No Diggity? Pause. Oh pause. my God, how big is No Diggity? Like I still, still, yeah. I, I have not gone to any party in these last twenty years that I don't. They don't you play know, No Diggity. Yeah, right. like, any party just, around the globe. You have to. Don't only say any party. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Don't say any party because yeah, you will never tuck your tie later. Yeah. They might think you go to have a straw yeah, night. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We're talking about any party around the, the world. world. The world. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This song no is kidding. being played. Yes. No kidding. Around the world. 20 years um, later. Every right. party, every club, every, mm -hmm. every like like a DJ set I've not heard get finished without no diggity finding its way into it. Mm -hmm. Like, no kidding. It, Crazy. It blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, so they were working on, no, I, let me backtrack. They actually were not working on another level. Here's how it went down. Uh-oh. Um, Teddy was working on a guy reunion album okay and jimmy i would be desperately wanted teddy to work on a second black street album because the first album that had booty call and joy and yeah. all of that yeah 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 um had sold like eight hundred thousand copies mm -hmm. so now here you are with this r&b group <clears throat> selling almost a million records yeah. you just mm -hmm. that wasn't that didn't wasn't exist yeah it right? wasn't normal though um so Jimmy's thing was, they make another album. Wait, Jimmy this was Jimmy who? Jimmy Iovine. Jimmy Iovine. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Iovine. Yeah. 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 Jimmy Iovine who? Jimmy Iovine Interscope Records. Oh, Jimmy Iovine Interscope. Oh, Jimmy Iovine Interscope Records. First name basis. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Like, we know who you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
knowledge is key. Yeah, Jimmy, sure. Jimmy, and y'all were just gonna let that slide. I want to see how many times. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. First of all, today is a one year anniversary from us meeting you. Oh my so god. I, I, I got the, I got the first one. Yeah. Today is a one year anniversary from us meeting you. Oh my so god. I got, I got the, today. today, I got the notification today. today. I'm like, yo, how wow. funny is God? That's crazy. Destiny, crazy. baby. That's wild. So at first, I was like, oh my god. Like, who? First name, Jimmy. You talking about Jimmy? Jimmy IV and it's go records. Just get used to it. Stop playing. Talk to that. Talk that. I'll put on the. Don't make me put it on again. Let's go. My fault. So so Jimmy, Jimmy wanted them to do a black shoe record. Mm -hmm. So my first job was to get a black shoe record done. Mm -hmm. Um, And 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 not the guy reunion record. (laughs) That was was cutting it out. Cutting the guy reunion out. That all got very interesting because that the the guy reunion album ended up not happening until years later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so we. Oh, so this is exclusives on you. Yeah. So it's Maddie's fault y'all didn't get the uh, Kyrie <laughs> album, so... I'm sorry, Dad. I know that, I know that was your favorite R&B group, but I'm sorry. But all you uncles out there, sorry. Sorry. Oh, man. So, yes, yeah, so we worked on, on another level. Mm-hmm. And I was not managing the group. I literally was like in an A&R capacity at this time. Okay. Mm-hmm. I wasn't managing the group. Okay. And um, we finished the album. We presented the album to... Jimmy Ivey. Yes, <laughs> I'm just saying for okay. the for the, okay. for the people and listening the people. and watching. And on the album we had a song called "Buy Me Love." Mm-hmm. Buy me love, which was an love. interpolation of mm-hmm. a Beatles song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, talk that now, talk. The important thing about this is, and and how I ended up managing the group. The important thing about "Buy Me Love" is. Because of the relationship that we have with Michael Jackson. Hold on, let me see. Hold on, who? Had to stop the music real quick. That's say, how, I that's how crazy. See, I said the last name. I said the, just the Michael. She was dying to say Michael. Michael. She was dying to say with Michael. Tyson? With her, it could be anyone. Anyone. Jordan, Jackson, Tyson. Yeah, that line is for her. No, me and M. Oh, yeah. You, I had to stop the music. Notice there's no more music. Yeah, Michael. You Tom. said Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Rest in peace to the legend. R.I.P. to the legend. So right. Michael owned the Beatles catalog. Yes, and mm-hmm. we, and notoriously, no Beatles music got sampled. That was a bottom mm-hmm. line thing. Yep. It, mm-hmm. it didn't happen. It wasn't allowed. And I think still to this day. Mm-hmm. However, for However. us, mm-hmm. Michael cleared "Buy Me Love." Wait, what? It, it wasn't a cover. We could have just done it if it was a cover, yeah. but it was an interpolation because yeah. we turned it into a ballad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Michael cleared it wow. for us. That's and a, hello. Who is it? That's a check. <laughs> That's a check. <laughs> you feel me? That's, That's a check right there. Michael yeah. doesn't do that for anybody. You no. feel me? Yeah. Um, is there any more? Hold on. Before you continue, are there any more songs that you can name that have been cleared by Michael Jackson? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, yes. What? So this one time. Um, <laughs> oh, not one from you? She's involved, in, she's involved again. Yes, of course. What happened was. Well, you remember Jay Z and Michael worked together. Yes, he yes. did. Yo. Yes, he did. Rock my world. Rock my world. Yo. My records. Don't yeah. tell me you was in the shadows for that too. She was at the video. No, no. I'm playing, I'm playing. no, no. I organized both collaborations. Wow. Because because. Hello. Yeah, because at the time we were working on the Invincible album yes. with Michael. Yes. And um. And so I had my son. My son was 18 months old, and Michael had his children. Shout out so to Rose. Hey, your son. Hold on, so your son. What's his name? Riley. Riley. Yeah. 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 Okay. So shout, Riley. Out. shout out to Riley. Shout out to Rose. Oh, oh, oh what do you know? Oh, oh, man. Oh, Rose. You feel me? So I was spending a lot of time with Michael and the children because you know I had my my son too. That, mm-hmm. um, so. And uh, all the guys in the Rock Nation, I think maybe then still Rockefeller Camp, mm-hmm. um, I knew all of them and in some capacity like worked with them on different things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Jay wanted to Jay-Z. do the Jay Z. No, I'm just, I'm, for anybody, I'm just you know, for anybody that you know <laughs> to do the piece with Michael. Mm-hmm. So I had a point in the studio with Michael, um, and I said, "Hey, I have this friend who wants to work with you on something." Um, and I told him that I would have a conversation with you about it. Mm-hmm. And Michael's like, well, who is it? And I said, well, <laughs> you probably don't know him. His name is Jay-Z. And he goes, I don't know Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was like, you know, you know Jay-Z? And he was like, I want to know Jay-Z. 
was like, I can get him on the phone right now. And he's like, you can't get Jay-Z on the phone right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. Michael Jackson out here like, you can't get Jay-Z on, Jay on the phone. phone. Michael Matt, Jackson. And Maddie in the middle. Because, yeah, come she, on. because Mike at the time couldn't get Jay on the phone. You yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Don't forget that little part because yeah. Mike. But this Couldn't one, get Jay on the phone, but, but this you, woman right here, CEO had of Pez Music, but he, had I mean, he, didn't, he didn't know Jay wanted to work with him. It started with Jay wanting to work with Michael, okay. and so we did. We nice. got the conversation going that day, and that's how wow. both collaborations wow. happened. That's wow. dope. Yeah. That's, that's, that's dope. That's yeah, this is so crazy. Two times I know he cleared the ultimate dot connector. So, yeah. The only, the only Michael Jackson samples that have ever been cleared are basically cleared by you. Correct. Well, not cleared by me. Through you. I mean, through you. Saying, like, you were you yeah. were in the yeah. in the yeah. shadow I, making I, I, that I happen. I never think about that. I literally until because they didn't have a term for you then. Now you're called the plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The there was no plug. term. 